Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith through Graphic Online. This um, morning, I'd like to share with you something I call God's credit line. God's credit line. Now, um, normally in banks, or normally, uh, you, you, are, you are given a credit line for you to be able to go and purchase or do something with it or do business with it. So you are given a credit facility. And so normally we think it is God who gives us credit for us to be able to, you know, make our everyday demand phone calls of grace. It is God who gives us. But guess what? Now the reverse is what I'm talking about. When humanity gives God credit, not give God credit in terms of uh, praise or something, but when humanity opens a credit line for God, in the book of Luke chapter 5, in Luke chapter 5, you remember the story, especially from 3 onwards, you re remember the story that Jesus goes to the lakeside called Genesaret, and at the lakeside called Genesaret, he meets a failed fisherman, and his name is Peter. He says, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Peter, you've toiled all night, you've caught nothing, Go home. But I guess probably his mother-in-law was waiting. You know, Peter stays with his mother-in-law. And his mother-in-law was waiting. And if he comes home without nothing, the mother-in-law would go and say to, his, to her daughter, I told you so. She said, Am I this a rich man? I'm not this person. That's the funny side of it. But Peter was there mending his nets. He was there sitting in disappointment. He was there sitting in despondency. You know, he cried out to God, we have toiled all night. He said, we have labored. We have, we have, we have, we have we, 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 we've done everything we can all throughout the night and we caught nothing. And guess what? Now Jesus then comes to Peter and then Jesus says to Peter, can I borrow your boat? Lend me your boat. Now, I lived by the beachside from the town called La. And I know fishermen. I have relatives who are fishermen, chief fishermen and all that. When they don't have a catch, they are very grumpy. When they don't have a catch, they are frustrated. They are not nice people to be around, I can tell you that. Because disappointment and sometimes, I mean, wells of hostility and, and all that. Because it's, it's frustration. And that's it. Now Peter is out there mending his net and all the things and then all of a sudden, Jesus comes to him and says, can I borrow your boat? My goodness. That was a boat of failure. With nets of failure. Handled by a man of failure. And he had told all night and caught nothing. And he's asking Jesus. Jesus is asking, can I borrow your boat? If I were Peter, I said, my friend, my friend, clear off. I don't want any trouble. Now Jesus is a very successful person. He's such a powerful preacher that multitudes are following him. And you know what? Failure screams at the sight of success. What you've not been able to accomplish, when you see somebody having that, it, it, it stings you. It, it screams at you. So Jesus was a very successful preacher, whilst Peter was a failed fisherman. And then Jesus is asking Peter, give me your boat of failure. And I mean, this is, please. But Jesus when Jesus made that statement, Peter said, go get my boat. You know what Jesus was saying? Open a credit line for me, Peter, with your boat. And here is the most beautiful thing. When he finished preaching, now he tells Peter, you know, I want to pay you back. I want to say a very big thank you for what you've done. Launch out into the deep. Peter said, there's no fish over there. He said, you launch out. And when he launches out into the deep, he catches a great drought of fish he had never seen before. Never ever. 
blew his mind. He had to call for support. And the Bible said, he, 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 he literally knelt down and said, please, I beg you, you're too much. When Peter gave to Jesus his boat, Jesus found a way to say thank you by filling the boat with a great drought of fish. When we do things for God, when we offer things to God, when we offer up ourselves, when we offer up our talents, our treasures, the grace that is it, our gifts, when we throw it out to him, one of the things I found out about God, he will never, he will never ever allow you to stand somewhere and say, I opened the credit line for God and he failed to pay back. Whatever we give to him, he will find a way to give back to us good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. So listen, offer what you have and see what you will do with what you have. Open a credit line for God and see whether you will never get a harvest. See whether you, 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 you won't have a harvest. By all means. God is not somebody who borrows and runs away. If he borrows your boat, he is interested in filling your boat with a great drought of fish. So it is in your interest to give to him. Because when you give to him, he is going to give back to you good measure. Press down, shaking together, running over. I am eternally grateful to God for offering my life to him on an altar of service. I'm eternally grateful to God. The reason, the things that he has done, the places I've been to, the things I've seen, and the blessings that I have, I can't count them all. I can tell you this for a fact. No one offers a boat to God and goes home without a great drought of fish. He's not like that. He rewards. And the rewards are not just in heaven, but here on this earth as well. Open a credit line for God and see what the returns are going to be. Your profit margin is going to be more than what you offered as credit line. God bless you and see you the next time.